What's up, freaks? It's Steve Eckert here, and this is episode number 76 of Steve Says. I have you on Facebook here, Instagram here, and a second Facebook feed down here. If you have any questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, let's talk about it. I have you right here down below, just pulling you up, making sure you can see me, you can hear me, and we're going to get rocking and rolling. So this is Steve Says, episode number 76. Now, on Steve Says, some people will hate, but most of you can relate. That's the way I think it is. We are bringing the freaking fire every second of every second. Here on th this week's episode, we're going to be talking about basically what reality are you going to choose during this situation, this whole corona pandemic situation. What reality are you going to choose? We're going to go over and discover the secret to surviving this current situation. We're gonna literally just show you exactly how to deal with this. What is the secret to surviving this? Basically, and, and asking and answering the question of you, do you have what it takes to make it out on the other side of this thing? What is that other side? That's what we're gonna be talking about. And really, are you doing enough right now? Are you doing enough right now to reach the goals that you claim you have, the goals that, that, you, that you want? Are you doing enough, enough right now during this time to keep moving forward towards those goals. So I'm just gonna pull you up here on this second screen as we keep going. I wanna make sure I can see you, I can hear you if you have any questions. So I literally have four different screens going on here. And there it is, we are live. So I can see you and you can hear me, sound check, and we're good. Thanks. Perfect, oh, that is annoying. All right, so I can see your comments down here right in front of me. I see your Instagram, your Facebook up here. So the next thing we're going to talk about is what will this new normal that we're going to be heading into, this new normal that we're in right now, what is it going to require of you? That's what we're going to be talking about on Steve Says. Now, Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so that you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. So yes, there will be adult language in this video, so if, if that doesn't work for you or that offends you, probably you need to get over that hurdle also, because that's just the, the way it is sometimes. Steve Says really focuses on what I like to call MBB, mind, body, business, and in that order, specifically in that order, the mind, the body, and the business. So you could be working your ass off and all this other stuff in your business, but you don't, if you don't have your mind right first and take care of your body, all that other stuff is useless. Wow, I have to see myself on all these different screens. That is just annoying. Anyway, I'm trying to, the comments keep disappearing here on my screen down below. That's what I want to be able to see the comments on. So let's just get rolling it and talk about what, what is, what really, what is this all about? It's about a role model mindset. You can see we use a lot of acronyms and a lot of initials. That just comes from the military mindset. So you can see we're surrounded by military stuff all over the place. Marine Corps, we have the project logo back there. But we like to, to dummy things down so we can memorize them so they stick. RMM is the role model mindset. What that means is basically how to operate with discipline, energy, confidence, taking action, and just being your freak self. To me, that's what a role model mindset is. So that's what this is all about. On Steve says, adapting and overcoming, getting your shit together, stop being a little bitch, making shit happen, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. That's what it's about. That's how we're rolling. So let's get into this. Let's get into this, this whole situation, these circumstances we're in. I want to start with a quote from, the, from over 2,000 years ago. The ancient Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. So think about that. Think about how, what, how are, what are you seeing about yourself? What are you learning about yourself during this whole crisis that's going on? Because circumstances don't make the man. They only reveal him to himself. I want to repeat that to you. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to throw in down there, add it in down below. All right, so we're going to talk about reality today. We're going to talk about reality. We're going to talk about your judgments, your perceptions, your just the way that you're handling this whole situation. So what is reality? And if you haven't noticed by now, I love my quotes. I love my ancient quotes from Greek philosophy, from Stoic philosophy. So 
Seneca said, we suffer more in our imagination than in reality. Think about that. Think about how much you suffer in your head, thinking about what if this, what if that, worrying about and stressing about the what ifs, what if I get sick, what if, and, and, and you end up in the moment, killing the present moment because you're too worried about what if this, what if that, and all this anxiety and all this suffering that you're giving yourself about shit that never even happened. That's why this is where we're talking about reality. What is the reality? What is the reality of this situation? Right now, the way that things are going, this is our new reality, the way that, the way that we're living. And you need to, to get that into your head. We're going to break this down and get into it a little more. But reality, what does reality mean? It, re- it means the real world. It means truth. It means authenticity. Authenticity, that's like a, a big, cool word you've seen thrown around the internet and, and Instagram and MySpace and all that other shit. You see authenticity. Be your real self. That's how you need to be these days. And, and the funny thing is, most of the people that are preaching all this authenticity are coming in as complete fucking frauds. So what is your reality? Are you really living according to this reality? Are you, how are you handling this new reality is what we're talking about. Because reality is real things. Reality is facts. Reality is events. Take it as a whole. That's what a reality is. Your current state of affairs. That is your reality. So don't think that this is just a temporary thing, the way that, the way that things are going right now. This is reality. This moment. Like whatever you're dealing with in that specific moment is your fucking reality. It's, it's, it's just as simple and straightforward as that. That is your reality. That's your current state of affairs. That's your current lot that you need to take on. The events you need to take on as a whole. So it's not like this is just some fake, something passing. Anything that's passing is still your reality. Now, when it goes back to, to philosophy, they would they call reality something that exists, it exists independently of ideas concerning it. Totally separate. Because you make up your own reality in your head and you, you tell yourself all this other stuff, all these horrible things. But reality is totally separate from your thoughts. Until you get so fucked up in your head that you start creating this horrible reality for yourself of what it, what it is, what it isn't. We're going to get into all that, into your judgments. So judgments. What is judgment? Not Judgment Day and all this other stuff. I just watched that the other day. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. One of the best films ever. Go watch that if you need something to do. Go watch Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Perfect for these, for, for these times. So judgment, another ancient Stoic philosophy quote from Epictetus said, It isn't the events themselves that disturb people, but only their judgment about them. I'm going to repeat that again. It isn't the events themselves that disturb people, disturb people, but only their judgments about them. Now think about that. Like things that happen right now, this situation, this event, this event is not really screwing you up. This is not really fucking you up. This, these circumstances, your judgments of this, your reality that you're the, the fake reality that you're causing your head about it's the end of the world and all this other stuff and you're never going to be able to get back to normal, whatever the, whatever the fuck normal is, that's your own personal judgments that you're having of this. Ju- your judgments can be good or bad, like anything you have. You, the way you look at reality, the way you deal with reality can be good or bad. You, you get to choose what's good or what's bad. It's all your decision. So what is a judgment? Judgment means your reasoning. Whatever reasoning you have, your awareness. Like Judgment really means awareness. Your acumen, your acumen, how much knowledge you have on a certain situation or how much facts and data and proof and information and statistics. That's what, how, how you come to your understanding and your reasoning. Judgment really is your awareness. Like, are you aware of what's really around you in this moment? What's really going on? What's really available to you? Using your judgments. And another quote, Marcus Aurelius said, if you are pained by an external thing, It is not the thing that disturbs you, but your own judgment about it. And it is in your power to to wipe out this judgment now. Like everything that happens, you have the power and control to change your circumstances no matter what. You can't change an at-home, whatever, fucking quarantine. You can't change a virus. You can't change whatever, control or change if you're going to get sick. But you can change your judgment about it. You can fight this stuff. You can fight the fucking war. I've said for so many years, the invasion is coming. The invasion is coming. I've gotten a lot of criticism for saying that just in normal, everyday self-development and personal development and business terms and business meetings. And I've spoken on stage in front of thousands of people talking about the invasion is coming. And I've gotten some criticism from some people on it. But now those those same people are are out there saying the same stuff. We're at battle. This is a war. We're at the war with this. We're at the war with that. War with the economy. Whatever. The invasion is coming. The invasion is always coming. 
And if you're a, a business owner, you're a, a CEO, an entrepreneur, if you're in management, you you're, have a team you lead, the evasion's always here. This is nothing new. This is just business as usual. It's a war every fucking day. It's always a war going on. That's what you need to be thinking about. Like, this is nothing new. This is nothing that's going to break you. You've been through so much shit. That's why you need to use your judgment in these situations, how you're going to react. You've, I guarantee, you've been through shit worse than being stuck in your house. I guarantee that you're going to go through worse shit further down the line than you're dealing with right now. And that worse shit that you go through one day, I guarantee you sometime in the future past that, you're going to go through even worse shit. It's just life. That's, that's just the way life is. Just, just get used to it. Get, realize that that's just the way it is. And it's all about your judgment of the situation. How are you going to deal with it? Your judgment is your ability to make a decision or form an opinion objectively. That's a thing. Objectively, not subjectively or authoritatively and wisely, especially in with good sense and discretion. That's what judgment, that's the official definition of judgment. The ability to weigh facts and possible courses of action to make sound decisions. You keep hearing sound decisions, good decisions. See, judgment technically leans towards good. You could make bad, have bad judgment, but as long as you're always having good judgment, you can't go wrong. Even if you, even if you fuck up, you can't go wrong. We have a saying in the, in the Marine Corps, good initiative, bad judgment. Meaning, good initiative in trying to go out and come up with this solution, being proactive, attacking it, taking the battle to the enemy, whatever you did, making that decision and going through with it, good initiative, but maybe just bad judgment where you didn't have all the facts or you didn't have enough facts or you didn't think it through clearly enough and you just jumped on that decision. So good initiative, bad judgment is, is, a, is a huge saying we have in the, in the Marine Corps. Actually, judgment is one of the 14 United States Marine Corps leadership traits is judgment. It's basically your ability to think clearly and calmly I can't stress that part enough, calmly and in an orderly fashion so you can make sound, good decisions. That is judgment. And a lot of times you don't, you don't have all the information you have. There's tons of quotes and sayings out there. You probably have heard it before that in the military, most decisions are made in the military with less than 70% of the information because that's all they really need is 70% of the possible knowledge, 70% of the information, 70% of the analysis, 70% of even the confidence of it to make a decision. That's considered an informed decision. That's considered good judgment. But judgment doesn't mean just jumping to conclusions and, and taking, making stupid, irrational decisions. That's not judgment. There's a complete difference. So this whole situation requires you to have sound, calm, controlled judgment. And when it comes time to take action, take fucking violent action. There's another say, I don't know who, I'll probably, I'll mess this one up. I don't know who said this quote, because if you haven't realized, I, I love quotes. Someone said, imperfect action executed now is better than perfect action executed later. Imperfect, violent action now, executed now, is better than perfect action later. Not really sure who said that, who did that. Let me just check the comments down here. This thing keeps, screen keeps bugging out on me. It's showing me all weird angles here. See a ton of Dana, Deborah, Eliana, all watching. Limey, what's up? So yes, imperfect, violent action now. Now that's again, not jumping and being hasty and making stupid decisions. That's still with having a good amount of information so you can make the right decision. But again, judgment could be good or bad. It could be positive or negative. A mistake in good judgment is, is again, good initiative, bad judgment. I want that to kind of sink in. The next thing you need to now take from judgment goes into your perceptions, how you perceive things. Perception is your consciousness, your awareness, your, your impressions, really. The, your, your perception is your impressions, is how you're perceiving things, how your senses are taking things in. Just what is your viewpoint on something? Perception, perspective, a little bit different, but they both go hand in hand when it comes to judgment. Your perceptions and your perspective. So your perspective is really your ideas, the, the facts that you have, the information you have, so you have a certain perspective on it. How are you dealing with this? What is your perspective on this situation? What is your perspective on this whole lockdown thing? What's your perspective? What's your attitude towards it? What's your viewpoint towards it? What's your mindset towards it? 
What context are you seeing all this done in? Because reality is based off of your judgments, your perceptions, all driven by the perspective you have on the situation. That's exactly how it is. That's the way you need to start thinking about this. And these are all your choice. These are all your decisions. And all this can be summed up in one word. One word, everything we're saying, can be summed up in one word. And it's another word that you have a choice on, you can make a decision on. All this judgment, all the reality, all the perceptions, your perspective, all of this can be summed up in one fucking word. I'm going to give you two seconds, see if anyone could come up with what that one word is. What could sum all this up? All this that we're throwing out there, this whole situation, how to deal with this entire situation, how to have better judgments, how to perceive things a little bit better. Who can, who can really tell me, who can come up with that word? I want to give you a second, see if you can come up with that word. The one word that really covers all of this. Well, we're not, you're on a delay probably. It's usually a little bit of a delay. But I'm going to give it to you. The one word is fucking attitude. That's it. That's all it requires. And what attitude do you choose? What attitude are you choosing in this situation? An attitude of boo-hoo, poor little me. It's just me against the world. I can't handle this. It's the worst thing ever. I'm just going to go home and sit it out and wait. Is that the attitude you're going to choose? Because you choose your attitude. You choose what attitude. You choose what judgments, what perceptions, what perspective you're going to have. You choose your reality. And it's all based on you choosing your freaking attitude. That's the way you need to look at this stuff. It all starts right here. And we already know that. I told you it's all about mind, body, then your business, then your work, then that other smaller stuff. You don't have your mind right. You don't have the, this up here, the right attitude. You're not controlling your attitude, c- controlling your judgments, controlling your perspective about this situation. It doesn't matter what else you're doing. Then you need to strengthen up your body. So you have the endurance, the health, the fitness, the durability to handle these situations. Then you can go and deal with work and business and your business and, and whatever else. But you need to choose that attitude first. Because let me tell you right now, there's no time or energy for negativity or complainers or fucking bitching and moaning. There's no time. It's war time right now. You choose your reality. So if you choose to be bitching and moaning and have a negative attitude, you're choosing to lose. You're choosing to get fucking stomped in this battle, in this war. You're, already, you're choosing what outcome you're going to have. You're already doing that by choosing that poor attitude. Because let me tell you that if you are, and I know that they, whatever, we, we joke, people joke about their kids, their kids driving them crazy, but seriously, seriously, if you are complaining about your kids being stuck at home, you're complaining about being stuck in your house around your family, having to work from home or whatever else, let me tell you something. And this is straightforward. And this is sometimes the boot in the ass that you need. You don't have a quarantine problem. You don't have a a virus problem, a coronavirus problem. You don't have any of those problems. You have a fucking you problem. You have an attitude problem. That's it. Nothing else. That's all you need to change. And you will change all this. Your attitude will determine your freaking outcome in everything. Your attitude will determine your outcome. Because how can you be defeated if you have that type of attitude? If you're, because we are at war. Open your fucking eyes. Open your eyes and see what's around you. Appreciate what's around you. Like, use this time as a freaking gift. Use the time, like, embrace the time and and latch onto it and use it as a gift to grow and to improve and to get healthier and get in better shape, to to get more fit, to, to, how about this? Spend time with your freaking kids. Use this time as a gift and that's all your perspective not oh my god i'm stuck in the house it should be fuck yeah i'm stuck in the house that's the way you need to be looking at that difference between poor attitude and a good attitude oh shit i'm stuck in the house i gotta get out of this house or fuck yeah i'm stuck in the house now i could train i could read i could study i could just work out extra i have all this time i could learn that new language i want to learn i could develop that new skill that i need to develop to get to where i want to go in my freaking life instead of just sitting and complaining and bitching and talking about Anyone else that's more successful than me just saying that they're just lucky and all this other stuff. They're not lucky. They had a better fucking attitude. They had a different perspective when shit went sideways, the way that they had dealt with it. That's what they had. 
There's no luck. Fuck luck. Luck does not exist. They had a better perspective. They perceived things better. They chose their own reality a little bit differently. So imagine this. There's gunfire. It's war. It's mayhem. Everyone's running away from it. Everyone's afraid of it. Fearing it. The challenge, the adversity, the struggle, the roadblock, the obstacle in front of you. Everyone's running away from it. And you're standing there like, here I am, motherfucker. And you run towards the gunfire. While everyone's running away from it, your enemies, your competition, everyone else is running away from it. And you're running towards it, embracing it, expecting it, accepting it, and engaging in it. Imagine that. You're unbeatable. You're bulletproof. You have an unbreakable attitude in that situation because you're choosing your reality, that you're not going to crumble under the freaking pressure. Just imagine if you could do that. Use this situation. Use this circumstance because to bring out the best in yourself. Unfortunately, there's so much negativity and fucking nastiness going around on the internet that people are using this as an excuse to bring out the worst in themselves, to bitch and moan and complain. Don't use this as an example to lower your standards, to lower your expectations of yourself and, or, or of other people. Use this, don't, don't use this as an excuse to be lazy, to be an asshole and all this other shit. Use this as an excuse to, to raise your standards, raise your expectations, uphold your morals and your ethics. Use it as, a, as an excuse to reflect, to reset, to recharge, regenerate, to plan, to train, to study, to learn, to grow, to fucking evolve. Use this time as an excuse to do all that, to spend time with your kids, to be their role model, to show them how to have a good attitude no matter what. Imagine that lesson right there. This whole shit would be all worth it. If all you did, if only, if nothing else you got out of this situation was your kids seeing you having a fucking good attitude during a horrible situation. If that's the only thing you could get out of this, it's all worth it. That's it. Spending time with your kids, teaching them, guiding them, influencing them, leading them, being the role model. And they could see that. Like, wow, look how that guy handles this situation. Shit is fucked up. Shit is sideways. The world's going crazy. And look, my dad is just calm and cool, handling shit like a pro, like a man. Imagine that. If that's all you can get out of this is influencing your kids in that way and teaching that one tiny little lesson, you just now change a whole nother generation. That is a force multiplier. Your attitude is a force multiplier. It's, it's fucking infectious. People will take it in. Because again, your, your kids, your family, people around you, they're not going to listen. Not, kids don't listen to what you say. They're going to listen to what you do. So they're going to see how you're acting, how you're responding. Are you freaking out, complaining? And then forget it. If, you're, if your kids are on, old enough to be on social media or whatever, and they see the shit that you're putting out there and all the poison and all the garbage that's going on out there that you're getting in on those stupid conversations, like, holy shit, cut that shit. Cut it. The time is now. The time is now to show up to step the fuck up. The time is now to stand up tall with your head up, your chest out, your shoulders back and down, suck in your fucking gut, stand up tall, make eye contact with the imaginary people that that there's no freaking eye contact with, stand up tall, show the world what the fuck you're made of, show the world what you're capable of. That's the perspective that you need to have. Those are the judgments you need to make about this situation. That's the new reality you need to choose. That's the attitude you need to adopt and keep it permanent because the time is now because you, you can, you must not quit. You must not fail. Perception of pain is fucking power. I want to say that again. Perception of pain is power. Your perception of pain is power. It's an unbeatable power. If you have the right perception of pain, if you're able to handle, deal with pain and stay calm under pressure because calm will conquer the chaos. And if people can see you, be that one, be that person who people see like, that motherfucker has your shit together. That person right there is someone I need to follow. I need to learn from. I need to lead me through this. So hopefully one day I can lead also. That's someone I want on my side. That's someone I want in my fighting hole at war when we're outnumbered and surrounded by the enemy. That's a motherfucker I need to be near. That's the attitude you need to have. The the, the sad part of everything I'm saying right now, the crazy part, the craziest part of all this is everything that we're talking about right now, 
and all the strategies and tactics we're talking about, all the strategies and tactics you hear on the, those picture, picture posts on like Instagram and all this stuff, all the ways to deal with this situation. The, the craziest and even saddest part of this whole thing is this is shit you should have been doing all along. It shouldn't have taken some situation of people fucking dying for you to come to this realization that you need a good fucking attitude. But if it's what it takes to give you a good attitude, at least take those lessons and fucking latch onto them and then ride that wave and realize you are always at war. The invasion will always be coming in one way or another. Whether it's a virus, whether it's an attack, whether it's a, 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 an enemy, a competitor, whatever it is, the invasion is always coming, no matter what. So the crazy thing is, this is the way, the mindset you should have been having all along. Now imagine if it was the mindset you were having all along. Imagine if you adopted this type of mindset of your having good judgments, different perception on the way that you look at things, looking at things from a different angle. And you chose a better reality, a different reality. Imagine that. You chose a good, a better attitude, a positive attitude all the time. Imagine what would happen when shit goes sideways, when disaster strikes, when the world goes fucking crazy. Imagine what would happen to you. You know what would happen to you? Absolutely fucking nothing. You would just keep marching on business as usual, continuing to kick ass, helping people out, making an impact, and continuing to be fucking awesome. Because again, your perception of pain is fucking power. Your choice in your judgments, your choice in your perspective, your choice in your perceptions, your choice in your fucking mindset. Choose wisely. And remember, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.